Hi there, it's Pete from the Family IT Guy here. In a previous video, I showed you how I upgraded my home server. And after using the server for a short while, I decided uh, that there were one or two things on that I could do with improving. When I first bought the machine, it only had two gigabytes of RAM. I checked online on eBay and I found that I could get another two gigabytes of RAM to bring the total to four gigabytes for only about two or three pounds. So that seemed like a no-brainer decision to do. Um, the other thing was I'd left the original floppy drive and DVD drive in the case and I realised I was never going to use those so I took them out which gave me additional space for installing drives into the machine if I wanted to in future. The other change I made was that previously I had used Ubuntu Server which meant that I was using the machine uh, via remote login and there was no graphical interface to see. But having used this for a while, I realised it would actually be quite useful to be able to use a graphical interface to help manage files on the, the server. And I had noticed that Plex server keeps doing updates and the process of applying updates through a command line interface is a little bit more involved and tricky than perhaps I would want to be doing on a, a regular basis. So having an interface uh, made sense for me. So after quite a bit of investigation to work out what would be an easy to use interface that was light on system resources, I eventually came up with Ubuntu Mate. Now I've used quite a number of different Ubuntu versions, different flavours, and I have to say that Ubuntu Mate is actually one of my favourites. Now the other change that I made to the server was that previously I had been using this memory stick to boot off the operating system from. And this worked reasonably well, but it was a little bit slow as it's only a USB 2 device. So what I did was I bought uh, a USB 3 device because I noticed that it said that the uh, read speed was up to 100 megabytes per second. So I installed Ubuntu Mate on this instead and went from there. And, and actually, yes, the, the read times were quite improved and the machine was reasonably uh, responsive and nippy. Not that I tended to use the machine on a daily basis, but now and again, it was nice to be able to just log in and use the user interface. However, after about two to three months of usage of the machine, and this was not the machine being on full time, by the way, I came to use the machine one day and it just didn't work. It didn't boot on at all. So I looked into the machine, I decided that the issue was that the boot drive wasn't being recognized and uh, the USB memory stick had died. So to recap, I've got a machine here with two hard drives. They contain all of my Plex movie rips and TV shows and also my other personal file storage like pictures and music. Now, I could have uh, gone to the shop and bought myself uh, another USB stick, but as the one that failed was under warranty, I decided I was, I was going to send it back and get it replaced. But checking online, I realised that this was probably going to take a week or two, and, and in fact it did. So rather than wait for a week or two, uh, what I decided to do was reinstall Linux onto one of the hard drives. Unfortunately, I didn't have a spare copy of Ubuntu Mate, but I did have a Linux Mint DVD, which meant that the DVD drive that I'd just taken out of the machine, I then had to put back into the machine. So having put my DVD back drive back in, I could then get onto the machine and find my copy of Ubuntu Mate of ISO, burn it onto another much smaller USB memory stick as I'm showing here. And then I could use the partition editor to create a separate partition on my drive 
it was my 500 gigabyte drive that I put that on. And you can see here that I am showing that I have created a, a partition there that's 22 gigabytes in size with a small swap partition as well. Um, having done that, I could then use the USB stick to install Ubuntu Mate, as I've shown in there, onto that partition and then reinstall Plex server onto that version of Ubuntu Mate. And here it is after I've done the work. Fire up Plex again now just to prove that it all works. Yeah, and uh, we're in. Yes, it all works. Interestingly, uh, the performance accessing Ubuntu Mate from the 500 gigabyte two and a half inch drive is a fair bit slower than that uh, USB 3 memory stick. So, you know, the performance improvements were not imagined they were real. Anyway, I hope you found this video informative at least and look out for another video I'm doing on my Plex server because this experience made me decided that I wanted to do some more changes.